Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by an addition polymer, a monomer and a repeating unit. You should then be able to draw diagrams to represent the formation of an addition polymer. And this is for triple chemistry students only. Now we started looking at polymers in an earlier video in the topic on bonding and structure. In this video and the next few videos we're going to be looking at polymers in more detail. Polymers have a large number of uses, so let's start by looking at what's meant by a polymer. A polymer is made by joining together thousands of small identical molecules, and scientists call these identical molecules monomers. I'm showing you the formation of a polymer here. As you can see, the monomer molecules have joined together to form the polymer. Now, there are two different types of polymers. These are called addition polymers and condensation polymers. In this video, we're looking at addition polymers. In addition polymers, the monomers are alkenes, and in this case, the monomer is the alkene ethene. We've joined the monomers into the polymer polyethene. Now, there are a couple of points about this. Firstly, the monomer has a double carbon to carbon bond, but the polymer has single carbon to carbon bonds. Secondly, the name of the polymer is the word poly followed by the name of the monomer. So the monomer was ethene, and we've made polyethene. The word poly simply means many. Now students sometimes ask what happens at the ends of the polymer, but at GCSE you're not required to know that. Okay, now scientists have a shorthand way of showing the structure of a polymer, and that's called the repeating unit. We're going to look at that now. I'm showing you here polyethene again. To work out the repeating unit, we simply take any two carbon atoms that are next to each other in the chain. I'm taking these two. We then draw these out and the hydrogen atoms attached like this. Next we place brackets around them and finally we write a small n to the right. The n represents a large number. This tells us that the polymer consists of a large number of repeating units. Now I'm showing you here the monomer ethene and the repeating unit for polyethene. And this brings us to a couple of important points. Firstly, in addition polymers, the repeating unit has the same atoms as the monomer. That's because no other molecule is formed in the reaction. In other words, all of the atoms in the monomer end up in the polymer. Secondly, remember that the repeating unit does not contain a double bond. Now in the exam, you could be asked to draw a polymer given an alkene monomer. Here's a question for you to try. Draw the addition polymer that could be produced from this monomer. So pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, the monomer is chloroethene. So the polymer is polychloroethene. And I'm showing that here. Now you could be asked to draw the repeating unit for an addition polymer given the structure of the monomer. Here's a question for you to try. I'd like you to draw the repeating unit for the polymer produced from the monomer propene. So pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, so in this case we copy the monomer, but replace the double bond with a single bond. And remember to draw bonds on either side of the carbon atoms, brackets around the whole thing, and write N on the right hand side like this. And in this case the polymer is called polypropene. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on addition polymers in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 